Hello, friends. Or as they say in Wales, Shumai. My name is Gizmo. I am a robot on a mission to see the lives of children all over the world changed by Jesus' love. My adventures around the world have brought me to the wonderful country of Wales. Ah! Not that kind of whale. You know who else is hitting the mark here in the south of Wales? It is the Sporting Marvels team. These guys teach us how to live active, adventure-filled lives and use superbook stories to help them grow in confidence and faith. Let us see what some of my little Welsh friends have to say. Here in the Rhondda Valley in South Wales, unemployment is high, housing is poor, opportunities are scarce and morale is low. However, some people that know all about overcoming the odds are Sporting Marvels, a team of young, vibrant role models who take Superbook into schools, teaching the timeless truths of the Bible and equipping the next generation to see beyond their circumstances. I first visited the Rhondda over four years ago and the team have faithfully continued to impact this community despite a global pandemic and within a difficult economic landscape. Through our partnership with Sporting Marvels and what they describe as being kingdom funded, they're able to offer the schools around them a free resource, teaching physical fitness as well as moral and ethical life lessons, all straight from the Bible, the ultimate life guide, whilst fulfilling national curriculum requirements. The lessons these children are learning will have significant impact their whole life through. We were able to chat to some of the current class and some recent graduates from the Sporting Marvels program and find out what's impacted them the most. Uh, Superbook and Mighty Marvels make me feel sort of happy and warm and fuzzy inside because the Mighty Marvels are like siblings to us. They have a little bit of a banter, a little bit of jokes and stuff with us, and they're really funny as well. Even though David was really small and scrawny and not even a full adult yet, he kept persevering because he knew God was on his side and eventually he won the battle for his, his whole country. It just shows how powerful the love of Jesus and God is. I liked the first episode I think they showed us about when the boy had to like fight the lion because a lot of people thought like he couldn't do it and then he proved them wrong saying like oh yeah I couldn't do it I could do it because it's just you shouldn't think of people like oh they can't do that for what they look like on the outside just inspires people even if you've done stuff bad you can always make life good it don't matter if yeah. you're like small or you're strong you always get through it and even though it can be hard then right mindset and you can do it. Overcoming obstacles, where if there's like something stopping you, you can always get through it, it don't matter if it's really hard, mm. you just get through it, like don't give up. Is it not great to hear how Bible adventures that happened thousands of years ago can help kids grow in their confidence when they are facing tough things in their lives? I am on a mission to get the Superbook Bible stories into more schools and churches in the UK so more children can learn that Jesus is always with them. And you can be a part of my mission. To find out how, go to our website, superbook.uk. I am off now for another big adventure. See if you can spot where I have been and where I am going by following me on social media. Now, where is my ride? See you soon. Bye.